Chapter 12 Sea Gift Marty's Apartment, September 22nd, 1951 My house burned to the ground Uh huh Along with almost every penny I had. Hello, everyone. Welcome There's back to Mafia 2. This cops, episode at 9, and we're letting, Mar uh, we're letting video and talk real quick. I didn't have any insurance, I had to live in this shithole of an apartment until I could get back on my feet. Yeah, we lost everything last episode. I managed episode. to save Leo. Uh, he disappeared without a trace. I doubt Frank Vinci even knew where he went. And even though Henry failed I mean, to deliver on the hope. contract, Eddie still brought him in when he heard Leo had skipped town. Me and Joe had a new partner. What? Oh, shoot. When I want to talk, to everything's going on. Oh, well, that was the bathroom anyway. Hey, Vito. It's Henry. Hey. Uh, hello, Henry. Listen, I'm setting up something big. I want you to come in on it. If All you're right. interested in hearing more, come meet me at Lincoln Park. All right. Bring a piece. Okay. Bring a piece. I'll see you there. All right. Anyway, guys, if you, I know it's been a while since I played Mafia 2, almost two weeks. And if you guys are excited to see this game come back, then please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Mafia 2. And yeah, um, I think I still have my cars. At least I should. Alright, good. I was hoping you didn't lose your cars. Alright, anyways, let's go meet up with Henry. Alright, we're at this park. I've never been here on the map, so this is pretty different. Hey, here he comes. Hey, hey it's, it's Joe Barbaro. Hey, no. Take a seat. Alright, Henry, I will. I've been doing some research into Carlos' business. Okay. So, so, the only reason he had Clemente killed was because he was selling dope too. And Don't trust that guy. Customers. Now he just needs to get rid of one last obstacle. The one guy who could fuck things up and ruin his plan to become the main supplier for the whole city. Uh-huh. Frank, Frank Vinci. Vinci. Where'd you get all this? I talked to a few people I trust. You trust. Okay. okay. So what does this have to do with us? Because if he can do it, why can't we? A kilo of heroin costs 2,500 bucks over in France. And mm -hmm. it's another thousand bucks to get it here. And, okay. And we pick up 11 grand for just driving the stuff to the dealers. That's 7,500 bucks profit a mm. kilo. Yeah, but what about Falcon? Yeah. Carlo won't find out. And even if he does, he'll just threaten us and demand a cut. All right, but if Carlo's the only big supplier in the city, where are you going to buy the stuff from? I'm way ahead of you. Oh. What do you two know about the Tongs? The Chinks? Some kind of organization for Chinese immigrants, right? That's what I said, the Chinks. Right, but it's also a front for their other operations. Oh, my. They run the Chinese quarter, and they keep to themselves. But some of them are interested in doing business with outsiders, and they need middlemen since most people are afraid to deal with them. And we're the middlemen. Yep. They'll give us 10 kilos to start. Okay. Uh, how much? 35 grand. Mm. And we can sell it for... 110. Dang. Nice. Okay, well, where the hell are we going to get our hands on 35 grand? Yeah, that's I a good question. Shark, the year over on Palisade. Oh, you trust Lone Shark? That ain't cool, man. 45 back. Now that means our take is over 20 grand a piece. Not bad for just moving the shit from one place to another. I guess. But you know, who's gonna end up using this crap? What do you care? As long as it isn't an animal. Of course, Vinci was right. Drugs are bad news. They kill people. Look, only idiots do drugs. Deadbeats and losers. If they want to kill themselves so badly, I'd gladly help them out. <laughs> Especially for 20 grand. I got buyers in the ghetto. They'll take care of the distribution. So we uh -huh. don't need to worry about that. Are you guys in or not? I'm in. Come on, don't be stupid, Vito. 20 fucking grand in one afternoon. Yeah, it's a lot of money. When? Right now. If we don't take the offer, the towns will just find somebody else. Come on, Vito, All it'll right. be a piece of cake. Let's go see Bruno then. All right. Vito, how about you want to sold down there? He's on Palisade Street. Okay, okay. let's go. All right, let's head to Southport. Peace. All right, we're here. Finally. It took me a while because I couldn't find a car. Because legit, the car I brought here was like only a two, two seater, and there was three of us, so yeah, one half. Uh, we wouldn't have fit. So I don't know exactly. Maybe down here. Ooh, ooh, doo, doo, doo. This way. Maybe. Oh yeah, it's a story here. Knock knock. Hey, but home. How about? fellas, we're here to see Bruno. Yeah. Are we sure we can trust these people? I don't Hiya, know. Henry. That mustache is kind of suspicious. You, put them down there. All I right. Searches. Yeah, pat me down. You gonna find anything? How you, Bruno? 
Hello, Henry. Oh, that's Bruno. Okay. So, to what do I owe the pleasure of your company today? I need 35 grand and 20 dollar bills. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of money, Henry. A lot of money. Tell me, why should I give that much to a small time guy like you, huh? Yeah. Convince me. I got I can a short thing. He's coming from. You'll have 45 by the end of the week. What kind of sure thing? Sorry, Bruno. That's a trade secret. Then 45 is not enough. I'd be Ooh. more comfortable with 65. It's a bit steep, even for you. 50 is all I can do. Henry, Henry, I have no guarantee I'll get my money back. And you have nowhere else to go. So, how about 60? Don't think of it as interest. It's more like my cut of the profits. 55, uh -huh. final offer. Anything more than that, it's not worth my time. Deal. I'll give you $35,000 today, and you'll give me 55000 by Friday. All right. If you don't pay it back by then, the debt goes up by 10000 every week. Dang, this guy's you'll a get it by scary Friday. man, man. Okay. Isaac, prepare $35,000 in $20 bills. <laughs> this guy's like, wait, now, what? You know I trust you, Henry, but if you screw me, remember these wise words from the Bible. Oh, the Bible. And my wrath shall wax hot, <laughs> and I will kill you with the sword, and your wives shall be widows, and your children fatherless. Exodus, chapter Oh, okay, that's actually a verse. <laughs> I'm impressed. Dang. You don't seem like the church-going type. Uh, but just remember, the money isn't mine. So even if you get rid of me, that doesn't get rid of your dad. So no funny business, okay? Boy? Yeah. Sure, Thank Who knows you, what the heck he gets his money if that is even true to Henry? what Henry said. I'll take your word for it, and I'll bring it back on Friday along with your cut. I hope so. Good luck, boys. All right. We'll see you later. Weird guy. All right. We're going to be heading off to Sea Gift Warehouse. I'll be seeing you guys there when we get there. Meanwhile... You go to church? <laughs> yeah, and I can understand why you don't. They use big words, there's no hookers, and the fool's lousy. <laughs> yeah, that pretty much sums it up. How long's it been? Easter. Ah, oh, that ain't too bad. 1941. I take that back then. You're going straight to hell. <laughs> you're not out now. All right, we're here. Hello, people. I'm waiting for you. Ooh, that was nice and smooth. This kind of looks like the place I was when I killed all them men. Oh, I'm not even driving myself. That's game's driving. All right, let's hope there's right, no funny me, business fellas, here. And let me do all the talking. All right, Henry. Hey. Hey, buddy. You got some business with your boss. Follow me, gentlemen. Mm -hmm. Mr. Wong is expecting you. All right. Let's follow him. Mr. Wong, man. I think we're kind of getting close to the end of this game, which kind of sucks, because I like this game. I remember the beginning of the game, I didn't really like it because I thought it was kind of boring. But the longer that I've played this game, the more I've enjoyed it, and the more fun I've had playing it. And I'm glad that, like, it's doing decent on the channel. I understand that, like, I'm only getting, like, less than 10 views, but, like, honestly, like, with a channel that doesn't ha even have 100 subs yet, I think it's fine, and I'm just having fun uploading videos, because views don't really matter at this moment. So yeah, I'm thankful for you guys watching the video, and if you guys are enjoying this series, then please give a like, and subscribe for more Mafia 2 if you haven't already, and daily content. Hey buddy. Alright, see ya. Alright, the second time we've been frisked. Welcome, Henry. Hello, Mr. Wong. Mr. Wong. Let us get straight to business. Mm -hmm. Is your suitcase heavy enough? See for yourself. Alright, take it away and bring the goods. All right, You're cool. a good man, Henry. Here is your merchandise. Each bag All contains right. one kilo. Each kilo weighs a little more than two pounds. Which one do you want to test? Hmm.
What's going on? Oh. Oh. Okay, we're good. I'm glad. Uh -huh. Next time, we can give you twice the amount. All right. It was a pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Wong. The pleasure was all mine. Yeah, you don't shake hands, man. All right, cool. Knock it <laughs> off. See how easy that was. Let's get back in the car. All right, let's go. Man, like, this episode has been, like, kind of going slow. Nothing really crazy is happening. All right, fellas, the hot pot's over. All now right. We just got to make the exchange, and we're done. Sounds yep. good to me. Where I honestly headed? think Hunters, that the exchange probably up. won't be the fun part of this. Well, probably will be the fun part, because that's probably when a gunfight's probably going to happen. Not going to lie. I'm already expecting it. I'm not going to expect, like, an easy, clean deal. Hello, gentlemen. Or Fuck now. I like think you have something for us. Drop the suitcases. Shoot, it's cops. Hmm. My shoes. Wait a minute, these guys ain't cops. Kill the bastard! Oh, shoot! Shoot. Me shoot! They ain't cops. I got it. Right. Oh my gosh! All right, they're all this way. All right, I can't hit any of them. Let's go. Hey, I'm right here, scumbag. You know, watch my back. Watch your back. I can't even see my front. Oh, whoa. Let's get down there. Go. Keep the door in. All right. Keep moving. Keep moving. Whoa. Man, they changed suits fast. They were all dressed up like cops. Now they're not. Also, I'm wondering why the heck the people that, like, sold to me aren't going to help me. Because this is their, this is their supplies that's getting shot at right now. Like that's that's like very interesting to me. Alright. Reload. What you scared, asshole? Look at Henry right here shooting that revolver. I can't hit him. Help me out here, fellas. Okay. Load. Hide. Alright, we're down here. I see you, buddy. They teach you that in the army? I'm the best. Yeah. Alright, move forwards. Oh, he ran. Joe, behind you. Whoa. Wait, what? Apparently there's a guy like right next to me. Back me up. Got him. Alright, so there's some guys over here, but I guess we have to go outside to get them. Alright, let's move. Let me pick up all the bullets that I can find. Oh, 1911 ammo. Oh, an MP40! Okay. It's another new gun. Oh, shoot. One car, two oh, cars. Right. It's showtime, Vito. Is that the fucking best you got? Oh, you're in the store. Did you get out of the army? Trying to blow up the car. There's a guy over here. Hold on. Ooh. Is that the fucking best Ooh. you got? Oh, you're in Thompson. Trouble. Where the heck's this one guy? Is he inside the building? Oh! Hi, buddy. <laughs> He's just saying, like, sup. Oh man. All right. Ooh. Vito, take him out. I'm Don't trying. Out Hit him. Yeah. But he ain't dead. Moving, moving up, moving up. He dead now. Don't worry. Wait. Yeah, like, okay. So basically, I have the. Oh, never mind. Boom! Oh, I hit him. Oh, I hit him again. Oh, I hit him a third time. Let's go. The longest shotgun shells ever. This car, though. Oh, there they are. Hopping boys, let's go. I'm guessing we're going to the drop-off area. Where are we supposed to go? We just leave all these dead bodies behind and get moving. 
Hopefully all the people that like were our dealers were okay. Alright. I'll see ya. Okay, let's head off and I'll see you guys when we get there. Oh, never mind. Oh, we're here. Oh, we're not. No, it's not. Ow, 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 ow. Shoot. I'm going as fast as I can in this slow boat. Look at Henry just holding the revolver, being like, I'm gonna nail him. I'm a single shooter. Alright. Yes. Go. Look at the blood on the car. Shoot. Let's outrun the cops. Don't pull over for them because. We got pursuers after us. Shoot, they're still after us. Oh shoot, we're screwed. Yeah. Did the cop stop that uh that pursuer? Or, or not? The pursuer is still after us. I wonder if the cops are dead now. Whoa. Hopefully that's the end of them. What the fuck was that, Henry? No idea. Right. Somebody else must have known about the deal. Those definitely weren't right. real cops. Maybe it yeah. was the chinks trying to fuck us. Nah, no. Look, I'll figure it out. But first, we gotta unload this stuff. Vito, take us to the old warehouse in Hunters. All right, All right let's head to the warehouse. Better than the last one. It will. All right, we're here. These are tough guys, so no wise ass comments. All right, Joe. All right, yeah, Joe. Boys, the men. Hey guys, how you doing? Hey man, come on in. The chill dudes. <coughs> Shit! It smoked. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <coughs> oh my. Oh, music playing. I'll play some music right now. We did it. We hit the jackpot. Hey, hey, hey! Take it easy. We're not done yet. Lighten up, will you, Henry? What's the matter? All of a sudden, money don't make you happy? After we pay back Bruno and you get your cut, then you can be happy. All right, all right. All right. Ooh. Is that the money, boys? Yes, it is. There we go. We're dealing it to the men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's, here's your good stuff. We jamming off in different cars, man. It's a smooth maneuver. Pick up your briefcase. I'll take the money. There you go, what do you think about the- oh, what the heck? Oh, oh, oh. Huh. More of the boys? Nice. Oh, there's some cops. Listen, 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 officer. We're good, we're good. Would they pay him off? Guess yeah. Not hearing him talk is very annoying. Yeah, 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 yeah. You give us the money or we'll shoot you. Now get out of here. <laughs> He's asleep. I saw his under. Ooh, now we're looking all fancy. Mm, okay. But, <laughs> I turned down two girls, man. Da -da -da -da. Chapter 13. X. Exit the Dragon. Joe's apartment, September 24th, 1951. Two days later. You ain't even oh, gonna nice. give me a tip? You want a tip? Uh. I'll give you a tip. Don't let the door hit you in the ass on the way out. Oh, oh my. Wow, gentleman. Joe. <laughs> wow, Joe. Well, okay. What the heck? Hey. I hope there's room for three in there. No. Oh, gosh. All right. I'm ending this episode right now before this gets any weirder right now because this episode just went... <laughs> down this is a weird hole and i hope you guys like this episode and you guys want to see more mafia 2 so we can finish this game because this game is really good and if you do then please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more mafia 2 i'll see you guys in the next one peace out guys